this inflation defies the old models. It is historic coming off the pandemic and neither supply nor demand by itself explains how we got here. In just a moment, I'll share with you how to concisely have a conversation about this with your clients. This is The Rare Advisor, proud to be a part of the Advisor Advancement Network and home of a business model supercharged by recurring and repeatable events. Your host is Mike Walters, CEO of USA Financial. He is an investment advisor representative of and securities are offered through USA Financial Securities, member of FINRA SIPC, a registered investment advisor. Hey, welcome. Today, I want to chat with you about this historic inflation we're dealing with. And more specifically, I want to try to give you a summation, something that you can use with your clientele to explain what's really going on. It's a difficult concept for people to grasp. And I think uh, uh, one thing I would also recommend is go check out the Wall Street Journal article. It's probably the best explanation I've seen. It was from December 8th, 2021, and it's titled, This Inflation Defies the old models. Neither supply or demand by itself is increasing prices. It's an unusual combination of both. So if you want to go check out that article again, it's in the Wall Street Journal. It's from December 8, and it's uh, titled, This Inflation Defies the Old Models. So we'll talk about how, uh, how that's discussed in the article in just a moment. But specifically first, I want to show you a graphic. Uh, basically, if you're listening to this on podcast, I'm just flashing up the inflation rate, the graphic line showing uh, where we are today, over 6% inflation, which is what you see on the far right-hand side right here. But most importantly, I've added some, some additional graphics, this, this red dotted line coming back, you would have to come all the way back to 1982, almost 40 years ago. Think about that, 40 years ago, 1982, to find inflation of this level. So how do you explain that? Well, obviously we're coming off the historic event of a pandemic. Uh, well, I guess you could argue we're still within the historic event of a pandemic. And anytime you're in a historic event, you have historic outcomes. And inflation happens to be one of those right now. So last April, you had economists who thought inflation would probably be around 2.5% right now. But today, we're actually over 6%. So a huge miss, you know, even in the kind of the, the loosey-goosiness of economic product, uh, uh, projections and, and predictions, still just a huge off-target miss uh, from the economists on where we'd be on inflation. So the explanation comes from the traditional two schools. The demand school wants to blame President Biden and the Federal Reserve for administering too much stimulus. Pretty basic, right? The supply school side, however, wants to blame the pandemic-related bottlenecks in all the, the, the issues we're having with the supply chain. So again, the two camps are as they've always been. However, I, I would say it's pretty clear that neither camp is entirely correct. It's a combination of both things. Neither demand nor supply alone is to blame. It's demand and supply together, in my opinion, that are to blame. So in the, the inflation was made possible by strong demand interacting with restricted supply. So the U.S. hasn't seen anything like this no no combination like this really in the history of the country but you could sort of argue i suppose that after world war ii is probably the closest we saw when all this pent-up demand was on a collision course with the war induced shortages so there was a lot of demand especially as the troops were coming home uh, and yet there was all kinds of shortages so probably the closest thing that we've experienced so this really makes for an elusive fix to the problem because fixing supply is largely beyond anything that the White House or the Federal Reserve is going to be able to do. But treating the problem as one of only demand could actually damage the economy even further or, or the situation even further. So, so what's setting the U.S. apart right now is this combination of constricted supply in many of our sectors, and yet we have stimulus inflated demand. The key is stimulus inflated demand in that scenario. So normally an industry would respond to higher demand by raising output and partly by raising prices. Economists would say that that's the supply curve like sloping up. But sometimes though, supply is fixed. And so the supply curve 
is vertical. And right now what we're having is, is the supply is kind of fixed because of the supply chain problems. It's not, you know, well, we'll talk about where did all the jobs or, or, or all the workers go for all these jobs. We'll talk about that in the next video, uh, in the next discussion. But really, you know, how many scenarios are you aware of where the people are there to work? The, the, the sales are there, everybody's there, but a part's missing or something is wrong and they can't get it to the finish line. So again, that's kind of the supply issue we're having. Although the demand is there because of the stimulus uh, and, and the savings accounts are running and checking accounts are running at some of the highest levels they have in many, many moons. So hopefully that helps you get an idea of how to break it down to its basics and explain to an investor, explain to a client what's going on with inflation. This information is for licensed financial professionals only and is not intended for use in soliciting sales from the public. The views expressed represent the opinions of the presenter or their featured guest, not necessarily those of USA Financial or its affiliated subsidiaries. Industry references are generic and not intended to represent actions or beliefs of any individual or entity. Content is only presented to illustrate general principles, beliefs, or ideas and should not be construed as legal or regulatory advice. Trademark and copyright protected. USA Financial and Affiliates.